brain abscess. Introduction. Brain abscess is a focal collection within the brain parenchyma, which can arise as a complication of a variety of infections, trauma, or surgery. It usually results from trauma to the cranial space, such as from neurosurgery, ENT infection spread, or dental infection, etiology, streptococcus from sinusitis, staphylococcus aureus from trauma, anaerobes from chronic otitis media. The most frequent cause of brain abscess are streptococcus and staphylococcus species. Among these species, viridan streptococci and staphylococcus aureus are the most common. Anaerobic pathogens. Anaerobic bacteria are common constituents of brain abscesses. These organisms generally originate from the normal mouth flora and are most commonly associated with solitary brain abscesses originating from otorhinolaryngeal infections. Most brain abscesses are bacterial. However, in immunocompromised patients, consider toxoplasmosis and fungal, candida, aspergillus infections. Pathogenesis. Bacteria can invade the brain either by direct spread or through hematogenous seeding. Direct spread accounts for 20 to 60% of cases. Bacteremic spread typically causes multiple lesions. Direct spread. The direct spread of organisms from a contiguous site usually causes a single brain abscess. Primary infections that can directly spread to the cerebral cortex include subacute and chronic otitis media and mastoiditis spread to the inferior temporal lobe and cerebellum. Number two, frontal or ethmoid sinuses spread to the frontal lobes. Number three, dental infection usually spreads to the frontal lobes. Hematogenous spread. Brain abscesses associated with bacteremia usually result in multiple abscesses that are most commonly located in the distribution of the middle cerebral artery. Abscesses usually form at the gray-white matter junction where microinfarction damages the blood-brain barrier. Conditions that lead to hematogenous seeding of the brain include chronic pulmonary infections such as lung abscess and empyema, often in hosts with bronchiectasis or cystic fibrosis, skin infections, pelvic infections, intra-abdominal infections, esophageal dilation and endoscopic sclerosis of esophageal varices, bacterial endocarditis, brain abscess complicates 2-4% to of cases of bacterial endocarditis, and cyanotic congenital heart diseases, most common in children. Clinical manifestations. The manifestations of brain abscess initially tend to be nonspecific, resulting in a delay in establishing the diagnosis. The diagnosis is made at a mean of 8 days after the onset of symptoms. Symptoms Headache is the most common symptom of a brain abscess, occurring in 69%, although it is obviously also one of the most common medical complaints. Neck stiffness occurs in 15% of patients with brain abscess. This complaint is most commonly associated with occipital lobe abscess or an abscess that has leaked into a lateral ventricle. Changes in mental status, lethargy, progressing to coma, are indicative of severe cerebral edema and are a poor prognostic sign. Vomiting generally develops in association with increased intracranial pressure. Fever and chills are not always present. Diagnosis. In the setting of focal symptoms, example unilateral headache, or signs, example unilateral cranial nerve deficits or hemiparesis, or the finding of papilledema, a lumbar puncture is contraindicated. Computed tomographic scan or CT scan is not as sensitive as MRI for the diagnosis of brain abscess, but can frequently be obtained more easily on an emergent basis. When looking for a brain abscess, this study must be performed with a contrast agent. Magnetic Resonance Imaging Magnetic Resonance Imaging, MRI, should be performed with gadolinium diethylene triamine beta acetic acid. This agent increases the T1 intensity 
and causes more prominent enhancement of lesions than CT scan. MRI should be performed in all patients with brain abscess because, as compared with CT scan, an MRI is more sensitive for early cerebritis, is more sensitive for detecting satellite lesions, more accurately estimates the extent of central necrosis and ring enhancement and cerebral edema. It better visualizes the brainstem. Treatment. IV antibiotics. Penicillin G plus chloramphenicol or metronidazole. If methicillin-sensitive Staphylococcus aureus or MSSA is suspected, nafcillin or oxacillin. If MRSA or methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus is suspected, vancomycin can be used. Duration of therapy. The duration of antibiotics for brain abscess is prolonged, usually four to eight weeks. Surgery. The neurosurgeon needs to be contacted at the time of initial diagnosis of a brain abscess. Needle aspiration and surgical excision have both been used to treat brain abscess and are now also required for diagnosis prior to the initiation of antibiotic therapy if possible. An exception may be when a brain abscess occurs in the setting of bacteremia, in which case antibiotic therapy is based upon the results of blood culture. Aspiration Needle aspiration is generally preferable to surgical excision since the neurologic sequelae are reduced. Surgical excision. Surgical excision is a more radical approach that generally results in greater neurologic deficits and now is infrequently performed. However, excision may be the initial treatment of choice in the following circumstances. Traumatic brain abscesses, to remove bone chips and foreign material, encapsulated fungal brain abscesses, multiloculated abscesses. Glucocorticoids, like dexamethasone, should be used when substantial mass effect can be demonstrated on imaging. The addition of glucocorticoids has a number of disadvantages, including reduction in contrast enhancement on CT scan, slowing of capsule formation, increasing the risk of ventricular rupture, decreasing the penetration of antibiotics into the abscess.